Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where my wife is here, my wife! <laughs> First I have to finish talking to everybody. How can I help? How can I help? That almost seems uh, unenthusiastic. Or not, um, what is it? Like, oh, I can't think of it. It's like, why are you talking? Like, why is he leaning in when he does that, you know? It's like, hmm. Oh, oh, I wanted to say, <laughs> Will seems to be taking this pretty well, to be on my step. Like, <laughs> he got really positive about it really fast. It was like, oh, jeez. Very well. Speak. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, I think we talked to Asterion. Besides, he's a bully. And there's my wife. <laughs> I can't take it. Okay, we need to go to sleep. No, we did go to sleep. We tried to go to sleep. And it was me and Carlac and Will, who are the three, <laughs> were they two? The two I'm interested in, so I was like, well, okay. <laughs> what are we doing off in the woods? <laughs> Actually, truly, Gail is kind of ramping up there. Gail, uh, I, I'm a sucker for the clever ones. Just look at my, my Dragon Age Inquisition first season. I'm a sucker. For the clever boys. And I'm a sucker for the beefy girls. <laughs> so, this is, so this is playing right into that. <laughs> Can we please sleep for one night? No? Can I have a nap? A nice dreamless sleep? I really love my casual clothes. For the first time ever, I love my casual clothes. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. Okay. You haven't been using the parasite's power. What? You think you don't need I, it. I just, you just told me. But things haven't gone as you expected. Like three hours ago. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong place. Oh, are you going to be the eighth person to offer me a solution? Tell me who you are. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. A plainer one, probably. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. What? Just like you, I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your <laughs> parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, I knew it. any attempt to remove it will kill Even you. Even the gith thing won't the work. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I am just, look at me. I love just the, look at me. Look, I'm just so, so attractive. Um, for my, I don't know if I've already mentioned this. The days have blurred together. Um, but in my self-insert character where I play, I like try to make my own self and made her a druid. Um, I remade that to make the guardian look like Solus. <laughs> so I think I may have mentioned that already, but I just need you to know. Apparently my friend said that in the beta, instead of saying, you know, create your guardian, it said create what, whatever, whoever you most desire to see or something. And I, that's kind of the impression I got. That's why I made a tiefling as a, as a, as a guardian. Cause I was like, oh, I assume like I'd want to like, you know, have a familiar face, you know, like something that you would more, be more likely to trust like right out the gate, you know? Um, but yeah, and for the most part, for like all seven of the characters I have, I've made the guardian the same gender too. Um, just it's like again another like aspect of familiarity except for a couple of them I actually have made non-binary because I feel like the guardian is probably if it is like sort of an interplanar being which is kind of what I think it is I just would assume it would be no gender assignment it's just kind of whatever it thinks you are most comfortable with you know so I made a couple non-binary um, blah, blah, blah. what is the sickness the absolute sames are not yet clear to me, 
but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. Doesn't take much. That is how the cult of the Absolute has spread. Doesn't take much to be a the god. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. How do you protect me? Yeah, okay, thank you. I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. I want to believe my dream woman, you know? I mean, Carlac's my dream woman, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, uh, what is, uh, tell me where I, uh, no, I can find her in my dreams, I don't know. Uh, what's going on over there? The power I use to protect oh. you. Oh. I stole it from someone. They want it back. Okay. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultist's trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of oh, them. Oh, I see. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy but it. But I'm a paladin. Go. Our freedom depends I'm, on it. I have a strict code. This is interesting. Like, do is it worth it to break my code at least a little bit um, for the chance to uh, be free of a greater evil, you know? Oh, we press. Here goes nothing. Time to go, I I'm so- I suppose you have any clue where we are in relation to water. Waterdeep? There's distance between Elturel and Baldur's Gate. I'd say a long uh, way away. <laughs> I'll make getting word to my mother rather tricky. No matter. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Not at this distance, anyway. Hmm. What's inside? What's inside these bones? More bones. Oh, the, that was right. One. Well, let's go talk to these. Hang on. Okay, let's go talk to these guys. Maybe I can get a nice armor set. Always room for more. Are they, where are they exactly? And then I can talk to Carlac some more. Wait. Oh, okay, we're good. Yes, that's the cave. Evil cave. Full of gnolls. I don't feel like dealing with them. Maybe I can eavesdrop again? No? Well, here we go. Now I have two devils with me. <laughs> you brought her here. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Insight. Oh, baby. Let's see. I have no bonuses to this. No! Oh, I'm actually going to reload. <laughs> I need to give... Nothing in his demeanor betrays him. Let's see, you'll need to convince me you're not who she says you are. 
I'll tell you whatever you wish to know. Just let us live, please. Ah, uh, this is rich. They serve the archdevil Zario. Biggest liar in all the realms. Seems her servants have picked up some of Mummy's tricks. Believe me, these sneaky fucks won't stop till they have me hogtied at her feet. It isn't true. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit we ambushed you. An assignment from our god, Tyr. What's Tyr care? We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. I should have looked at the sword a little closer. Enough. Enough. Yay, okay. I cannot play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Oh my gosh! She's so cool! Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Is there... Anybody else? I can't tell. Path is interrupted by what? Like an is it like an by the door? Then move. Well, she's still covered in acid. <gasps> Ow. Holy, that's right, there's high ground. Okay, that was successful, that's good. Yes, Hellish Rebuke. Perfect, excellent. Time to jump up high. Dang, not enough move. Okay, never mind. We don't get to jump up high. We get to jump up high. With her high defense. Or gave you the right. Let's go. How terrifying would that be, huh? <laughs> to have two beefy women jump up right behind you. Ow. We just did we both get oh that's right it's thunder wave okay oh did we both get oh she has a high defense because of the illusions ah! our fiery friend fuck them fuck sorry I won't go back I'm never going back and if any of mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. I uh, yeah. Sorry, you won't get near your game. We'll make sure of that. That's right. She won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> I mean, they almost got us. But yeah, sure. <laughs> well, she's like super excited. Yeah, I think she's going into a little bit of a rage. She's trying to work her rage off. I don't blame her. And she's doing it in a healthy way. She's not hurting anybody. I can see her blue running around. She's breaking things that are already broken. Well, with haste. while she does that, she just lit the door on fire. Ow. Okay, maybe she's going too crazy. Oh, good, because now we're all standing in fire. 
Ow. Can you stop now? Oh, what? What did I, what? What did I do? Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. <laughs> Granted, the fire is lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Sexy, very sexy, hot. <laughs> Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. I will kill. Oh, don't make any promises. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. That sounds bad. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I found a way to calm it down. Yeah, and in we have those coins that are supposed to power infernal engines. Maybe that's that'll be helpful for her, honestly. And you have I really do want to ask for all of all these questions. I hope I get to. But I feel like maybe being out of Avernus is bad. I feel like it might be over like overstimulated almost, you know, where it's like uh overreacting at being far away from like where it should be, so that seems troubling. How the hell did you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance. And a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the scar show for later. After we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, She's poetic. I need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things. If I can find him. Maybe in the grove? Yeah. Uh, hang on. what will happen if you don't get tuned up? Who knows? Maybe I can run like this indefinitely, but... Maybe not. It's better to be safe. There are some tea flames holed up in the druid's grove nearby. We can look there. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully the hellion's the heart. Will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of... This good. old tub! Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, so she only gets fired up in the fight or when she's angry. That's good to know. Or maybe, also, maybe turned on. You know? You know how it is. A magical sword! Is it a two-type sword? Or a two-hand? It is. Dang it, it's a great hand. East of the Saloon Temple is Moonrise, which is where I remember the... The goblins were saying, or the the traders were saying, that the goblins were taking their captives there. A scroll of revivify. Let's chat with her. Soldier. Why is that my name? Oh, now those paladins are out of your way. What's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. Got to be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Uh, I mean, you've been away for a while, I think, darling. Uh, I want to talk about your infernal engine. Old rusty. Oh, sure. How did you end up with a contraption in your chest? The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-knee delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. She's I was a gorgeous. Kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected a lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. <sighs> she put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. 
The stories I could tell. She is just look look at her. You mentioned a boss who gave you Desario. Who was it? A guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Yeah, growing up does that sometimes. You and Mizora seem to know each other, huh? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Her face was like, hmm. Um, you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. I can see why you were so keen to escape. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Uh, for someone who's, you know, pretty keen on fighting, she's really well-spoken. She was pretty poetic earlier, almost, you know? Okay, bye-bye. I guess that's all we can talk about for now, but we need a short rest. I took the edge off. Oh, look at Gale. He needs another one. Oh, we can get like two twice a day. Oh. Well. Continue. Oh, I see. Hellion, by the way, is my favorite. It's, it's the class I call my waifu in Dragon or Darkest Dungeon. So it is just meant to be because the Hellion is my favorite character in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, so it's just uh, just meant to be on many levels. We've met his patron. Seems like we'll meet her again. The case of in case of death. Let's make sure he doesn't die again. I mean, I feel like I haven't done that much at all, but I've been running around for hours and hours and hours. And I don't know where people find all the good gear, but I can't find it, ever. Let's go to the... Well, actually, I guess let's go ahead and call it here. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff, uh, to patron people, so I'm paying attention and I'm including that. So really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of you, including the acorns. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support at the acorn tier patron, and thank you so much, Fane, for your support at the acorn tier patron level. Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.